What's going on everyone? Giving you another Blackwood video. And off the bat you may be wondering why I'm on a second character and the answer is actually obvious. I did every single quest line for every single side quest to see if this specific item was dropping and it is. This is the chilled ice staff for the newest frostbite set for the newest frostbite set. The stat that has been selling for Iced only for 300 to 500k on the Xbox NA servers, probably comparable on the other ones. And all you need to do to get one is mosey on over to Gideon, as is a character who's never been to Blackwood before, and you just complete this quest. If this is your, uh, if this is all that you were looking for in this video, that's really all you need. If not, I will talk to you a little bit about the set while we complete the mission, but. Really, it's it's easy. You just complete a side quest. No side quest in all of ESO has really um, troubled anyone. So if that's all you need to know, uh, thanks for coming, and thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your chilled ice staff. If not, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about it, um, how sets that come from side quests work. Um, so basically, side quests generally drop the same item unless there is a red option at the end then sometimes your rewards will be different this however is not an example of where there is a decision that needed to be made also loot all of these cabinets or just you know low-key check them because doing this on my other character i was actually able to get a leo in bp that's a side note um so do the do the quest um, if there's a red option sometimes that can change it and the trait will be random so that's why it could be good to do this on all your characters obviously make sure the character is max level um, but they don't you know yeah if you're, you're doing it for your sticker book they wouldn't necessarily need to be but obviously this is something you're going to want to use i have no idea how this will affect the market i don't think that my specific viewership will have enough to completely change the market um but, you know, maybe, maybe not. I plan to do this on all of my max level characters and then list them up for 120 to 200k to see if they'll sell, especially if I get a good trait. Because really there's no difference between a set that comes from a side quest uh, versus one that you get from the overworld. And it is extremely, extremely rare to get the ice staff. It was so rare that I went around and did every single side quest in all of the, the whole zone on the first week the game was released just to see if this specific item was dropping uh, because I wanted one and because I knew that um, I knew that the set was going to be something special. Um, we'll talk about the set here once we uh, have it on this character so I can show you what it looks like. Obviously it's not going to be used for this character. This is just a little werewolf guy um, as you can see. Nothing too special about him. He actually doesn't even have any ch his champion points put in yet because I got reset because I haven't used him in so long. I actually haven't used him in so long. He, he still has the mid-year mayhem <laughs> buff on his account. Um, so he's not been used in, uh, in, in in a little bit of time, uh, you could say. But And uh, if you want to read the books and the crude map, you know, you're know you more than welcome to. Obviously, we're not going to. Um, our only goal is to get in and out as soon as possible and uh, get this done because we could do this on every character you can have up to 15 that could be 1.5 million gold if you're selling them because this and for those of you saying oh the market will completely implode um, due to everyone having one of these and what's interesting is, is so there's a side quest in Deshaun that gives you a lightning staff of Mother Sorrow and what's interesting is, is even after people found out about that they still bought the lightning staff for about the same amount, and they would still uh, buy those lightning staffs. Um, I don't know if that's just because people just generally don't do a whole bunch of research, or if that's just because people would just much rather, you know, buy something as opposed to go do a side quest for it, especially if you don't know where to go. You know, you're going to have to look it up, you know, complete the side quest. You know, sometimes it's just easier to drop a chunk of change on something and then. You know, you're done. That's the that's the heads and tails of it. So I think that's why um, this will remain a valuable way to farm gold. Uh, you can only do it once per character, obviously, because it's a side quest. But if you have the maximum amount of characters, um, you can continue to farm it as many times as you want. Um, and one time on those characters, if you make a new character, you can farm it again. 
Um, I would recommend obviously being max level. You can sell an under leveled staff, and people sometimes will buy those because uh, they don't look. But obviously, I don't recommend doing that. Um, and you know, if you do it too often, you'll be able to flood your own market because you're going to be undercutting yourself selling the same thing. Uh, my recommendation is is to post in your guild chats that you're in your trading guilds. Also, I'm sorry for the slow mount speed. I only ever use this guy for battlegrounds. Um, if you have very, very slow mount speed, um, it's, uh, it's rough sometimes to do these, but we're, thankfully we're not going too far. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not even quite sure what actually happened in this side quest. I didn't even realize that it gave me something semi-decent afterwards until I was looking to sell um, my items because my inventory became full. And then I was like, wait a minute, what's the staff here? And then I noticed at the bottom, if you get a staff from doing this quest, or, or any quest, and it's like a side quest that will have a little thing at the bottom, it'll say, like, you did da 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 And I'm like, oh, shit. Not a clue what quest that came from, so then I had to do research on, you know, the quest name and whatnot, and so that was a whole, whole little debacle there for a minute. And then I had to figure out and run this character over. But worth it in the end. Hopefully this is a good way I can give back to you guys uh, because this is a very rare um, item actually we're just going to TP because I'm slower than balls this is a very rare item and even if you're not selling it it's still good to have um, because you can one you can farm the trait so say you just wanted to do this for a trait you know because obviously the traits are going to be worth buku bucks and you're putting it in your sticker book you know, it's a, a cheap way to put it in your sticker book. That's a free way to put it in your sticker book, if we're being honest. I mean, the only thing you're losing is about, let's see, seven minutes have gone by so far. Um, and that's, look, there it is. Seven minutes have gone by. It took seven minutes to get a staff that's worth 350 to 500K. I gotta sell items real quick because I'm, uh, I'm over capacity, unfortunately. So re just saved 350 to 500k. I'm obviously not going to try to sell for that much because I don't think I'm going to be able to. And let's take a look at this. So we got a main hand. I'll ignore all that other crap that I have. Okay. So we got defending, which is okay. Um, not a bad trait. And a special staff made by Farrakh of Braville presented to you. So that's how you know you got it from a side quest. But look, this is at the top a frost staff of the new set that everyone is using. Increases your damage done with frost abilities by 8%, increase your damage done against chilled enemies by 4%, increase your damage done against enemies affected with minor brittle by 2%. This will be a set that gets used on a lot of people's um, builds. I can already tell, because I, when I was watching Blackwood um, videos, a lot of people were talking about this set being one of the best. And if I wanted to, I could equip it, add it to my collections, I could go sell it, that's up to me. And ultimately, it's up to you with what you guys want to do with it. I'm just here to provide you with the information as a thank you to my subscribers. Uh, if there's any other information you want to know about Blackwood, or if you want me to find any other information, or look for any other items, or any sets, easy ways to get them, motives, practices, just post it in the comments of this video, and I will make it no matter how difficult or how much time and research I have to do to do it. I 100% completed Blackwood just looking for a quest just for this specific item. So whatever you guys need, I will do it. But other than that, I will see you in the next one. I love you. Thank you.